Hey everybody, it is Billy at BTEF. We are back at the reef. Dude, you're not gonna believe how much stuff I have packed into this cube here. This 100 gallon cube. It is crazy. I got a bunch of new stuff. Some people get rid of their tanks. I got more stuff um, from high voltage. Let's take a look at it because I'm telling you right now, this is the most packed this tank has ever been. Coming up on the top. All right, here we go. Welcome back to the Color Smash 100 Reef Tank. I know I'm biased, but this thing is packed to the tilt of Color Smash corals. Dude, we're gonna get into it because things are really taking off here, especially since I started getting down with the alkalinity. I bumped it up to 10. I used to hover around five because I never checked it. We got that figured out. I'm jamming in the C-Lab 28, put two or three in at a time. And for the most part, that's it, dude. So we are, uh, looking real good. We got a bunch of new stuff in here. We're going to go over. Of course, last time we were here, we talked about the high voltage torch corals. Look at this dragon soul. Look at it, dude, because it was the same size as that gold one when I got it. And now, dude, it is next level. It's turned into the biggest torch coral I have here. And dude, is that thing awesome? Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that cool? Now, not to be undone, I picked up Three more from high voltage corals. Look at those, dude. Another dragon soul. The green here, who's kind of teeing off a little bit on that money cap right there in the edge, but he'll be all right, dude. He's pretty big. But, um, dude, are these things cool? Got a cotton candy there on the left. Dude, these things are so good. I wish this camera would do this justice, but it doesn't. So good. The green hairy mushrooms are so enlarged with the alkalinity boost that they don't even look like mushrooms, dude. They just look like they're covering the rocks. Um, these super electric finger leathers, I think that's what they're called, are growing crazy. I have them scattered all over the tank. They are glowing. Of course, we have the monster that we've done videos on, the monster toadstool leathers that the black clowns love playing in. That, that's what they're hosting right now. They look awesome. They will bicker. And, uh, but look at that, dude. Those things belong in the Pacific Ocean, dude. Seriously, they need to be rehomed back in Hawaii or wherever they're from. Those things are insane. And here's the thing too, my yellow Fiji leather used to be yellow and now he's the same color as these guys, dude. He's like toxic yellow now. He was not glowing when I got him and now he is. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but my Fiji yellow leather is glowing. I'm gonna need to move him down probably. Uh, I did have a mishap with this bird's nest. It fell down onto the torches and got smashed, but he's making an awesome comeback. I totally expect him to be bouncing back uh, we've got this that we've got as a bonus from high voltage corals. And I got this, uh, orange money cap back here that I'm kind of growing off to the side polyps down here, looking phenomenal, trying to get some color down here. I've put a, 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 a fluorescent mushroom, and then we're trying to get some of these glowing, uh, zoas down here to kick off. I think they will. I got some new ones down there. So I'm hoping this whole bottom area will eventually be colorized a little bit part of the dark tank with everything smashing color so hard and then look at this this is that beautiful man i don't know what this is but it is so beautiful and it just had a new kickoff see that right there i love this thing man ever since i bumped up the uh sorry the glass is dirty ever since i bumped up the uh alkalinity it's been going i just moved this guy down here i had to move him for this new uh uh coral that we had so he's a little bit weird looking right now but he will bounce back he is a i just call it a stardust coral i don't know what it's called but it's got these little specks of fluorescent on it and he's blue and uh, i love that thing dude it's one of my favorite corals in here of course the gold coral right here that looks really cool gold soft coral we got our fruit loops here i think they're fruit loops those look really cool dude check out the growth on these toxic trumpets that i got at the fish store someone had broke them down in their tank or they had too many but dude they are puffy they're puffy, dude. Look at those things. Super puff. I got them scattered all over the tank. Looks like a smash of super toxic brightness everywhere. Got some polyps tucked back there. Man, I just love this, dude. Look at that gold. Is that cool? Dang, that's cool. I hope he picks up like this guy. This guy is just, he's, he's I don't know what this guy's been eating or what he's been doing, but he is super stoked, dude, this dragon. So I hope he picks up like that guy. Let's see what else we got. Of course, we have our two block uh clowns that we had hey pappy what are you doing today pappy you want me for my finger in there so you bite my finger pappy pappy's a good boy i do like pappy 
He gets excited. He waves his fins. See, watch it. Here you go. Somebody get him to wave his fins. So anyway, there's that. The uh, super toxic finger leathers are exploding. They are massive, dude. Look at the look how they complement those. That thing, dude. Isn't that is that a crazy landscape or is it just me? I don't know. It's like that's crazy. You just don't see that in fish tanks very much. Maybe you do, and I just don't pay attention. Look at Sally, the sailfin. She's looking really good. She always looks good. That looks really cool. Isn't that cool? And I have these other ones. Man, I have to start breaking some of these out, dude. Isn't that crazy? Here's another set of toadstools. They're I have little sprouts all over the place of those things, but super good. All right, let's keep going. So I've got those Midas. I picked those up from Coral Life. Those Midas uh, Zoas. Um, we talked about this, the Fruit Loops. I think we talked about the Spider-Mans over there. And the Jungle Juice, I think, is in the middle of those. See that right there? So the Jungle Juice look cool. I think they're Jungle Juice. They're the Jungle Juice or Fruit Loops. And then either this is from Fruit Loops or Jungle Juice. I don't know. But uh, the Midas are cool. Dude, I just had my Rose Bubble Tip Enemy. I have four of them now. I just had another one split. Jeez, dude. They're going crazy. Look at that. See if I can show you back here. They're kind of tucked in. They're not really bothering anybody. You know, surprisingly... They don't sting the plate as bad as the torch corals do. Look at the torch coral has done. He's burned off that whole corner. Rose bubble tip? Nope. He's okay. I mean, the, the plate does not bind the rose bubble tip. So ironically, I would say that the torch is more potent than the rose bubble tip. But I don't know. We'll see. All right. So one of the big additions, I just got this yesterday, dude. I wish this thing would show this thing right. Look at this monster Zoa colony that I got from a reefer that's breaking down his tank. He's moving to Tennessee and I was able to get that. Isn't that phenomenal? Dude, super awesomeness. That's so many. It's crazy. I got this thing. It's growing really good. This doesn't do it justice. It's more pink than orange, but it has these little orange inners. I mean, inners, you know, little sections in it look really cool. The bicolor hammer is getting crazy. Lots of growth since I got serious about the alkalinity. Same thing with this. Everything looks really good. Really good right now. This was the uh, frog spawn my buddy hooked me up with. And dude, that thing looks, I mean, textbook right there. And I got them on the bottom of the tank. We've got our Duncan colony. And dude, I picked up from the reefer breaking down his tank another Duncan colony. I don't know how many heads are on that. I think there's like 15 or so. But that thing's going to be legit. So I've got two really nice Duncan heads. So I also picked up some super i don't know what zoas those are he, he had those in his tank i picked those up they're super like glow red looks awesome and then i got some rastas in there from him too i really want to start filling in all these gaps with the rastas here's a slimer it's taken off and doing super good that's how i knew that was my one of my test corals to let me know if i could do some more advanced stuff i know a lot of people say that the stuff i have you could do in toilet bowls but hey dude i'm keeping slimers in here and we're keeping the money caps and i got something here my buddy's giving me it's done really good. It hasn't grown out that much. Um, of course, these are our other corals from uh, High Voltage, looking really slick. I do have one torch coral that has been looking bad for a few months. I don't think it's gonna do that great. It's kind of just hanging in there and it's kind of, we lost one head and I don't know, it just hasn't been that good for a long time. And it's kind of been a slow death. If you look in the very, very back, you can see a jack-o'-lantern. That thing's really slick. Of course, all my mushroom i mean the trumpets back there look really good and you can see them here they look like marshmallows dude they're so puffy i would assume when they're super puffy it means they're happy right and there is a hershey he is so awesome dude that is my i forget what they call it dude damn it's not a i forgot what tang it is but a lot of times they're like faded brown and he's like the deepest ch chocolate brown you could ever imagine dude he's like perfect so anyway that's what we're doing right now. We're tossing in the C labs, tossing two to three. When they dissolve, I put another set in. Uh, we lost the AC in our house for like a week, so I was really like sweating things. Uh, thank God we have a chiller here that we have working. I had it at 78. I had it kicks on at 78 and a half, and uh, the chill is working really good. Everything in this tank is just stellar right now. Stellar. And uh, I'm not, not testing pretty much anything. Every once in a while, I'll throw in some magnesium. Uh, if I think like the corals could lead, need a little boost, especially like the torches or these guys like don't look as expanded as they do right now, I'll do a little squirt of the magnesium. Nothing, nothing too like crazy. The only thing I'm really keeping up on now is the alkalinity. That's it, dude, because I wasn't doing that and I was having a hard time keeping torches. And then my buddy, I think I've talked about it, my buddy gave me that 
And I said, dude, if they're gonna give you badass corals, you better start doing your stuff right. So anyway, that is the update on the Super Reef. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I do it, you know, I don't do really too many water changes. I may do in here in a month or two. I maybe do two a year at most, but really don't get into the water changes. I have gone back to the RO just because I have the unit and I thought like, well, you might as well. And then, um, yeah, that's it, dude, living it up. So that's the update on the reef. It is jam packed, everything growing crazy. I don't even know if I can get more corals, seriously. Like I love corals, but like, where would you even put them at this point? Like, I mean, at some point you either got to clear stuff out. Look at this guy, dude. Oh yeah, that's Engineer Gobi mixing things up a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's the thing, man. I just, everything is growing like crazy. And it's like, man, I am feeding, as far as feed, I do throw in a little reef roids. That's all I'm doing. I'll throw a pinch in uh, or two every other, maybe like once every three days. Uh, I've got the lights at, uh, someone asked me about the lights. I'm keeping the whites at 10 and then I keep the blues at 95 and then I run the center blue two hours before the other blues, if that makes any sense, right? And I've shortened them down just a little bit just to save electricity. So they all come on, they comes on like at nine o'clock. Everything starts at nine. I think it ends by like eight or nine. I don't know exactly, but that's where we are. I'm super stoked on my reefing right now. There's times I don't like it. There's times I do like it. And right now I just look at this thing and it's a marvel of color. Dude, it looks like one of those posters. Like, you know those posters that you have that glow in the dark? That's what this thing looks like right now. So anyway, I may start fragging some stuff. Um, I think I'm probably gonna have to at some point. But uh, for right now, dude, this thing is on fire and I'm super stoked. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching another trip to the reef.